spotted in southwest Washington today, two Bradleys and a pair of Abrams tanks arriving in town over the weekend, all ahead of a July 4th celebration that's already creating fireworks. President Trump beefing up the traditional festivities with a display of military might. We're going to have planes going overhead, the best fighter jets in the world. We're going to have some tanks stationed outside. The president, delighted by the Bastille Day parade he attended in France, is now bringing something similar to Washington. Flyovers featuring the F-35 and probably Air Force One. Near the stage, it's VIPs who get the best view for a spectacle that has some critics concerned. The president's hijacking the holiday, putting politics over patriotism and forcing taxpayers to foot the bill. One Democrat deriding it as a vanity project. Mr. President, how about a hot dog and a hamburger rather than an extravaganza that divides the country? And another headline here tonight after the Supreme Court temporarily blocked the administration's efforts to add a controversial question about citizenship to the 2020 census. We learned late today the census will be printed without that question, a victory for groups that had been fighting the White House. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.